comes Billy Smith. On the Nine career. wins away from Hunter wins this guy. 91 career wins. That is good for 19th, tied for 19th in Rutgers history. The heavyweights going at it. Billy Smith is ranked number 13 in the country. This will wrap up our slate this evening with the Scarlet Knights well ahead. It's 27 to 3 on the team score. Billy Smith is looking to end this thing with a bang against the Terrapins. It's Dawson Peck, the redshirt sophomore, going against Smith. Although Smith is a clear favorite here, um, Dawson Peck is, uh, has a lot of length to him as anyway. He's, he's a, a much more slender than, than most of the ones you'll see. Um, and that can be dangerous just in the, in the sheer sense of, you know, using that reach to grab a leg or uh, using that, that length to uh, really roll over on top of your opponents and get a strategic advantage over them. This is actually the third head-to-head -head meeting between these two grapplers this season. Dawson Peck and Billy Smith went at it twice back at the Midland Championships, and Smith won both of those matches. He's looking to make it a hat trick. He's definitely going to want to watch out for an ankle pick here, uh, Billy Smith, because those long arms uh, will allow him to get right towards the ankle, and that's him going right for the ankle right there. But Smith has an excellent counter by grabbing his leg. And that's going to be two, oh, that, that's two points for Maryland, but that's the quickest game by Billy Smith. Two points for Dawson Peck on that last takedown, and now one point on the escape for Billy Smith. So the two going at it here. And just as I said that, you can see him reach right down for the ankle. Um, that long reach will allow him to sneak right in there without actually having to go in for a full shot, uh, which is a huge advantage uh, for Peck. And Smith will have to keep an eye on that for the rest of the match. Billy Smith, the redshirt senior, comes into this match 17-5 overall, 11-3 in duels. 55 seconds to go in the first period. Two in neutral. Peck and Smith. Peck looking to pull what would be the upset here and how the whistle's going to blow. Looks like he got a finger in the eye. Did Dawson Peck. Never a pleasant feeling. I have to head over to the bench to get that taken care of. And uh, as they talk this over, I'm sure the coaches are, you know, not too worried with Billy Smith being the better he is. Um, you know, of course, nine wins from Andre. He's been in tough situations before. And I don't think the length of Dawson Peck will really affect him uh, as much for us in this match. I think he just needed this first period to kind of feel him out. And uh, I think he's kind of used to it now. Down only one. Still 46 seconds to go in the opening period. So plenty of time for Billy Smith to get this thing turned around. Peck is looking to avenge those two losses for earlier uh, this season at the Midlands. Team score wise, Rutgers. Is looking good. 27 to 3, the Scarlet Knights lead. They've won every match except the one. 133. I believe 33. Yeah, Jeff that was Alexander. Their, that was their best wrestler by far, ranked uh, 16th in the nation. So Jeff Alexander did his job, but everybody else for the Terrapins hasn't been able to uh, get the job done against the number 12 ranked Scarlet Knights of Rutgers. But right now, Maryland has the lead, at least in this match. Out of bounds, they go. So with one second left in the first period. It's a 2-1 lead for Peck. Dawson Peck will take that 2-1 lead into the second. So Billy Smith not able to get a hot start like so many of his teammates were, especially in the second half. You see Dawson Peck. Chambersburg, Pennsylvania, the redshirt sophomore major in American studies. Right now he's looking to build on a 2-1 lead. Billy Smith is going to want to get to his feet quick here and then not only just lock up with Peck, but lock up and get in tight with Peck, try to get some underhooks in because he's much, much, much stronger than him and he has to use that to his advantage. Head back to the middle. This heavyweight match between Smith and Peck. Peck starts out on top. Smith tried to get that quick escape and it took the two of them out of bounds. So back to the middle they go. Smith getting up to his knees, now to his legs. And he's looking 
to take control of Peck here, and he's going to get two points for a reversal. So Smith takes the lead. So that's a good job by Smith. He said, forget getting the one for the escape. I'm going to turn Peck over and get two for the reversal. So now Peck with the escape. That's one point for him. That's exactly what I was talking about when I was uh, speaking about his strength, how much stronger he is than Peck. Although you have that extreme length that you have. scores another two points there as he runs around the back of Peck. You have that extreme strength and you're versus someone who's that much longer than you. There has to be a drawback to that length. And that drawback is he's not nearly as strong as him and he's not using it to his advantage. It's a 5-3. We'll now make it a 5-4 advantage with the Peck escape. Under a minute to go in the second period. Billy Smith, number 13 in the country at the heavyweight ranking. Locked up with Dawson Peck, and this is a good one here to finish off the slate tonight, TJ. Absolutely. As you can see from the point of that uh, that, that quick timeout earlier, uh, Billy Smith's really felt out Dawson Peck now, and I think this last period he'll really be able to dominate. Looks like he's gaining a bit of momentum. Smith has had a fantastic year and a fantastic career here at Rutgers, as you mentioned, 91 and 34. Nine wins away from 100 on the career for the Scarlet Knights. 13 seconds to go in period number two between Smith and Peck. The two circling at the center of the mat. Four seconds, and it looks like Smith will take. That 5-4 advantage into the third period. Billy Smith and the Scarlet Knights looking to finish this off strong. It's been a good match so far. And with the immense strength of Billy Smith here, with him starting on top, he really should be able to turn Dawson Peck and uh, get some back points right here because... Uh, if he gets the right positioning on top, there's really no way Dawson Dal Peck can stop him strength-wise. And that's what he's going for. He looks to throw him down. Still got the advantage. He's got to get him to the mat and not only get him down, but then break him down flat. Getting a leg in just like he's trying to do now with that turn. He's got that right leg in. But and he lets go, but not to worry. Uh, Billy Smith's uh, very, very experienced getting takedowns here, and there's still a minute 30 left, although the score is tied. 5-5 five, five with a minute 23 to go in the third period. Peck and Smith sizing each other up. Peck going for it. Kind of going over that tight here. Final minute in period number three with the Scarlet Knights leading Maryland 27 to 3. But deadlocked at five are Peck and Smith here in the heavyweight. Once again, he's got to watch that. Watch, got to watch his ankles. Watch those long arms reaching down for a pick. That can be detrimental at the end of the match, although Rutgers is going to win the overall match. They don't want to lose any individual matches. And they want to treat every single one like it's the, like it's the do or die. Definitely, especially you want to finish strong. Don't want to leave a bad taste in your mouth at the end of the match. Less than half a minute to go. Let's see if we can figure this thing out. Regulation time. Smith and Peck tied at five. Smith getting away from Peck. 15 seconds to go. Two heavyweights. Locked up near the center of the mat. And this looks like it'll go into the 30 second period overtime. That it will. So the buzzer sounds. And not done just yet. 5 5 is the score. Here comes overtime. I apologize, this won't be the 30 second overtime. This will be the one minute sudden victory overtime. So, first one to score wins. So, there you go. It's Peck and Smith. It's the aggressive. You see Dawson Peck really getting amped up before his overtime period started. He thinks he has a good chance to win. 
but Billy Smith staying very composed. As so Smith was utilizing that strength early on, especially in the second period, the Peck has used his length to keep him at bay. 35 seconds to go, overtime. 5-5 five, five the score here in the heavyweight match at the rack. Once again, he reaches that ankle, but Peck looks very, very tired, and Smith looks much more well-conditioned. That's going to play a huge factor here in the last 15 seconds of the match. It's 15 seconds to go. And now Smith is going for the take down. Sure. Eight seconds left. Eight seconds. And, he, and the fans want it. Looked like maybe he had the takedown. Ref says no. And he doesn't have control out. there. That's the right call. That's the right call by the referee there. Did not get control. It looked like he had him, but he could not finish it, TJ. But that's exactly what I was talking about. You saw Dawson Peck getting tired towards the end uh, of that period, and it was just, just at the very last moment, he was able to spin out and stop uh, Billy Smith from getting that takedown for the win. Now here's 30 seconds, second overtime. But now Peck is at a major disadvantage because Smith is so much stronger than him, and he, had, and he really has to get up here because we know Billy's going to get up uh, in, the, in the next 30 second period. Some confusion down on the mat. Buzzer sounds. Let's take a minute to see what's going on. Smith and Peck locked up in a good one here. Peck's putting his hands there. I'm not too sure why. I think he wants to keep the action going, as everyone really does sure what exactly is going on over there. But as you can see, before this discussion went down, Coach Pitzloff there uh, on the Rutgers, over by the Rutgers bench, was signaling to uh, Smith to use his knee and use his leg to trap uh, the leg of Dawson Peck so that when he tries to stand up, he falls right back down flat, uh, as opposed to running him all the way out of bounds and uh, risking uh, a turnout where he could possibly escape. Because as, as I said earlier, uh, an escape here, or rather, Billy Smith stopping uh, Dawson Peck from escaping would basically be a, a victory for Billy Smith because he's definitely going to escape uh, in the next 30 second period. Smith is going to start it off on top again. 23 seconds to go in the second overtime. Smith has got that left leg, and now he's got control. Chance to take down Peck. Not quite yet. Peck doing a good job of using that lanky frame to keep himself alive. And he's only got five more seconds to break this hold and get the escape, but he's going to push him out of bounds. He's got to be careful here. And, and the rest of the Maryland coaching staff that, wants an escape. That is not an escape. And I did not see any locked hands. So Peck thought maybe he had an escape. The Maryland coaching staff wanted That's wishful well. thinking by Maryland's coaching staff because there was absolutely no escape involved there. And I would bet that Billy Smith will stand up in the first 15 seconds of this round because he is way too strong to be held down by Dawson Peck. And this crowd here at the rack is as loud as we've heard it all night looking to finish it off strong. The Rutgers wrestlers over on their bench getting the crowd involved. Billy Smith and Dawson Peck. Locked up with five. And Smith is going to get the escape point. 6 5 Rutgers. 6 5 Smith. 18 seconds to go in the third overtime. One point lead for Smith. And now Peck's getting very sloppy, and don't be surprised to see Smith put him right, put him right on the mat. Smith will be fine keeping it right here with the one point lead in the third overtime period. Two back in neutral, two seconds, one That's second, seven, two points. And that's that's your two right point there. Takedown, and that will end it as the buzzer sounds. Eight five. Billy Smith wins it over Peck, and that was a fantastic finish to this meet here tonight. Maryland and Rutgers finish up with a really, really entertaining match here, TJ. That's going to be a three-point decision for Smith. Absolutely, and only eight more wins to 100 for now. That's